what I'll end up doing is I'll try to push them off the back of the pad because mm -hmm. we'll be locked in tight together and I can, these pads are longer, so a little bit more difficult to do. The flop wrist press is one of the most talked about moves in arm wrestling, and it consists in losing your wrist when arm wrestling and still be able to go. Some athletes love doing that, and some just despise it. But the fact is, the flop wrist press is a very efficient move. You can hold your opponent and wait for him to tire out to then pin him. And a man that has been known for doing that move is Jerry Cataret. And it's quite funny for only one athlete to be known for using that move. But firstly, he is known to be the king of the flop wrist because he is in his absolute strongest when in a flop wrist position. And second of all, he has a certain way of doing it that makes him pretty much hard to beat. Because honestly, the flop wrist press is very easy to beat. And I'm going to tell you how. Have you seen the match Irakli and Ungerbayev had? There was a time that Irakli tried to flop his wrist, and when he tried, Ungerbayev just pinned him like a complete junior, but how could he? Well, it's very simple. Notice that most people that can't pin the flop wrist press are mostly all opened up, like they are trying to hold it, right? So notice that when Irakli has his wrist flopped instead of being all opened up, Ungerbayev is standing up and then top rolling to victory. So it's pretty simple to beat the flop wrist press, actually. But the reason why Jerry Cataret is so hard to beat in that position is because, notice where his elbow is, it's almost getting out of the pad while he presses it, and, in that position, is very hard to not be opened up. And even if you're strong enough to try to pin Jerry in that position, it's almost certain that you'll end up getting an elbow foul, because Jerry's style kind of pushes his opponent to a position where he can't get up to top roll. There's also a good example in the Vitali vs. Dave match. As much as both were already worn out by that round, Notice that when Dave has his press, Vitali obviously has a top roll. But look how open he is. Like, if he wasn't that open, and did like Angerbayev did to Arakli, that match would have been his. Did you knew the flop wrist press had that entry point? Leave down in the comments and thank you so much for watching.